Hi, I'm Ian and this is Kim. We've been teaching self-defense to all ages for more than 20 years. We've also been working with leading experts from around the world. Today we're going to show you four really simple self-defense techniques. They're both effective and they're really practical. So remember to start off slow, then build up an intensity, and it's also really important to practice them so that they become second nature for you in case you ever have to use them. As Caddison comes to grab my shirt, I drop down and my hands come up in a natural action. I can push those away so it doesn't get a hold of me from there. My hands are also in a position if he's trying to punch. If he does get a hold of me and he grabs hold of it, I'm in a nice strong position here where I can palm the nose, hit the ears, punch the throat, put the fingers in ice, enough to shock him to let go so you can get away. In this next technique, I'm going to demonstrate how you fall to the ground and what you do once you get there so you can be safe. In the event that you're caught up here and someone pushes you or punches you and you come to the ground, tuck your chin in tight so that your head doesn't hit the ground and knock you unconscious or, or cause serious injury. From here, this is a bad situation to get caught in because from here you've got a couple of strikes, but if he comes around the side, you're in all sorts of trouble. Now what we're going to demonstrate is as he comes forward, you're in that position there. And if I do get hit to the ground from here, I go onto the side, slap the ground there, and I can strike with my, my feet. My hands are in a position, if he punches, I can strike to the body, to the head, and I can protect myself if he throws a kick. And punches and kicks. And if he tries to go around to the side, I can throw that over. One of the most frightening situations you can find yourself in, especially if you're a woman, is being grabbed around the throat. It's really important to try not to panic in that moment and remember the next few steps that we're going to show you. So Ian, if you'd demonstrate for me. As soon as you feel the grab being applied, it's really important to get yourself into a balanced position. So you do that by dropping your body weight, bending your knees from here. From here you're strong, he can't push you over and you actually can put some force behind things. So at this point, as soon as you feel it held, you can simply bring your arm up into either direction and windmill. So slowly, we're gonna go up, over, turn, trap the arms underneath. <laughs> and then from here, we can do any number of strikes. We can do a knife strike, hammer fist, all attacking to this throat area where you've got carotid artery, Adam's apple, and very, very vulnerable points of the face and the neck. So we'll show you that one more time at speed. In, as you grab. Probably the worst situation you can find yourself in is being pinned to the ground and grabbed around the throat. Whilst this is a very vulnerable position, you do have a number of options. So let's take you through what you can do if you find yourself here. Ian? So as he pins me here, the first thing I need to remember is I need to get my balance and get into a strong position. I do that by lifting both, both knees up and keeping my feet flat on the ground. From here, if he doesn't have me pinned too strongly, I can either lift, lift my hip to either side and flick him off, like this. That's just simply lifting one knee up here, or one hip up the other side. Now in most situations, you're going to find yourself pinned and he's really going to have pinned you to the ground. You're not going to be able to just flick him off with lifting your hips. You're going to have to control this arm here. So the first thing that we do is we actually bring the feet up again, nice and flat on the floor. One of these hands will come to the elbow. Controlling his elbow helps direct him to which way I want him to actually go to. From here, I can do a couple of things. I can slap to the side of the head. I can poke him in the eye. I can be punching him in the throat. I can strike any number of positions, even though I'm still really vulnerable here. So, hand to the elbow to control, slap to the side of the head and lift. These four basic techniques that we've demonstrated today can be done by anyone of all ages. You don't have to be a martial art expert, you just have to be quick enough to react to the attack. Sometimes it's just enough that strong body language shouting can deter an attacker. But remember, it's really important to keep practicing so that these things become second nature for you. <laughs> Probably okay. <laughs>